call. Perfect, guys. So today is all about getting yourself on the right habits to crush the beginning part of your career and to help your newer agents uh, crush their beginning part of their career. We have a lot of new agents who are starting today. Like today is honestly the most important day of the year by far because we have so many new agents who are starting today and we have lots of people training and there's a lot of new agents just on this call even some people that are in the third or fourth week so today matters uh so just think today is the most important day of your career uh so let's make sure that we take uh, good notes on today's call so the biggest and most important thing uh, for new people is just in our career you have to love on people if you want to do well you have to be you have to bring energy into every situation. So making sure that you are just the kind of person that people want to hang out with, uh, be genuine, be, be warm, and just be, have, have a big heart for people today. That is huge in our business because we serve others and we show gratitude. Okay, so that is just, you know, one of the biggest things what we do that can't be taught uh, and just love what you do and have passion. I remember when we, uh, you know, run interviews with people, we talk about the passion for our products you got to be passionate about what you're selling. That is number one most important thing about what you're doing. So uh, we're going to cover four different things on what it takes to do well here. So number one is the sales talk. Okay. All the technical things that you need to know in our business is in your sales talk. It's like the skeleton, okay, of what we do. All the top producers here, people that's been here for 10 years, 15 years, people that's been here for six months that are ranked in the top, you know, 50 in the company, they use the sales talk, okay? It's the foundation for the sales process that you're gonna use for the rest of your career here, okay? And when you're being trained by somebody else, most likely they have gotten to the point where they are what's called personalizing their presentation. Okay, so when you first learn the sales talk, there's really three steps to it. You memorize it, you internalize it, so it becomes part of you and then you personalize it. Okay, so you memorize it first, that's a skeleton, and then you start internalizing it, and then you personalize it, okay? So again, if you're following somebody out in the field today, most likely the agent who you're shadowing or who's training you, they've gotten to the point where they have personalized your sales talk where it sounds like themselves, and that means that they have added muscle to the skeleton. They have added muscle to the skeleton. I heard Dylan Buck uh, talk about that this morning on the Elevators podcast. And it's like every time that you get a new tool, you know, like a new rebuttal, you've sharpened up your buying atmosphere or a new way of saying something, that way prospects receive it better. That's just adding muscle to your skeleton. Okay. But everything is built from the skeleton itself. Okay. So, it doesn't mean that you're just adding a bunch of fluff or adding a bunch of words to the presentation to make it longer. Nope, that's not the purpose. It just means that personalizing means that it, it makes it more like you. And you should, probably won't be in a personalizing phase until you've been here probably six months or longer. So your first three to six months, focus on memorization and internalizing it. Okay, memorizing it first, and then it's gonna be internalized your first six months. And then after probably about six months to a year, then it becomes starts becoming personalizing. Okay, so that's situation number one: memorize the sales talk, internalize, and then, per, and then uh, personalize. Okay, number two thing it takes to do well here for a brand new agent, and this is huge: elevators podcast. Elevators podcast, baby. This is the best content ever. Holy smokes! Uh, I listened to Amber Winfrey's resurfacing two days ago. And I was like, I thought I was good at resurfacing businesses. And I was like, dude, this is insane. I have like three and a half pages of notes on what she was doing. I was like, this is a game changer. And I was able to use that and do it last night. I went back to a business in Belmont, North Carolina that I sold to many years ago and uh, was able to resurface them and get a guy protected and got some, some really good referrals and use a lot of the language that she uses when she resurfaces businesses. Okay. So uh, that is just one tip. I, I've heard every single episode probably three or four times now. Uh, the one this morning uh, from Dylan Buck, phenomenal. Okay, phenomenal. But it is up to you. You know, your, your agency owner can't transfer information from their brain and put it into your brain. You have to actually take notes on these calls 
and take notes on the elevator on the elevator's podcast, write them down and then implement them right away. And that's 100% up to you. Okay, 100%. If you want to skill yourself up and get higher level thinking, the, these people that teach on these elevators podcasts, a lot of these agents in 10 or 15 years, they won't be here because they'll be retired. So a lot of these people like Dylan Buck, Amber Winfrey, in 10 or 15 years, guys, they're going to be retired living their dream. So you need to take what they, what they teach on these calls and implement it. So you can, you can do the same thing. You can set yourself up for an early retirement and do whatever the heck you want to do for the rest of your life because it works. Okay, because it works. And uh, we give you access your first day in the business here to what's called Keys to the Kingdom. So your very first day here, everybody has access. Everybody's in a level playing field here. Okay, we give you full access to the website, Protect One Family website, FHL Connect. You get access to all the claims. All the claims in the company, you have full access to them. You have access to every active customer in your territory. It literally is on your mobile sales app. Okay, so you're like, if you're like, oh, I don't know how to use names. I'm not good with names. Well, guess what? you got about a billion names you can use. Just go to the mobile sales app, search within a massive radius, and you've got names. That kills that excuse. Okay, this was not available eight years ago whenever I first started. Now it's everything is available. We literally give you the keys to the kingdom. We're very transparent. But you have to skill yourself up, and you have to use these resources. Okay, so <clears throat> because I promise you that they work. Okay, they work. Okay, so that's number two is really dive into the elevators podcast because that's going to really tell you the why behind the how and things will start making more sense. Okay, things will definitely start making more sense and slow down for you when you really dive into that. Okay, number three, to make sure you have a fast start here is take your field training very seriously. Take your field training very seriously. Whether you're field trained, the new agent, or you're the one who's being field trained, uh, just know that your field trainer this is we, we have our top salespeople who field train. Okay, I just know it, you know, just in our agency alone, Matt Schwartz, CJ, and Jim, they're they're field training today. You know, if you take those three agents, they all make if you, you know, really good money per hour. So the amount of money that they make per hour is really high. So they're they're investing their time to go all the way out to your territory and spend their entire next few days with you in your territory. So they're dropping their personal sales to go help you be successful. Most companies don't do that. Most companies, if you're in pharma sales, medical device, they don't give you sales. They, they're, they're not gonna go in your area from day one and do the whole cold calling business from the ground level up, but that's what we do because that's what we know that works, that's gonna help you be successful. So take your field training very successful, and if you're the one who's field training a new agent, you gotta take it very successful. You gotta clear the decks because this is the most important day uh, for your new agent for their career. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, just the, the schedule that we use for field training. Let's see here. There we go. Can you guys, sorry, my, my, you guys should be able to see my screen where it says field, sorry, I've got a bunch of tabs open right here. We saw it you a second ago and then it went away. Oh, went away? Okay. Well, here it is. So we're not going to spend much time on this. We'll probably spend about three minutes. But this is the field training schedule that we use. Transparent Financial uses the exact same one. So meet them early. So this is what a good schedule looks like the first few days for a brand new agent in their very first, uh, in their very first few days on, uh, on the field. So meet them up, getting, getting them set up on Boxer, letting them know that uh, the only thing that we're going to focus on today is high activity sound. and skill development. Can you guys hear me? We can now, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, so you, rule number one, you know, whenever you first meet your new agent, just letting them know that we're going to focus on what we can control. Okay. What we can control is our attitude and our effort. Okay. We're going to leave everybody in a better spot than we met them. We're going to get them set up on Boxer Channel. We're going to give them some claims in our territory uh, and names in our territory. So highlight all the names that are customers in the area that you're working in and save it on the mobile sales app. We're going to airdrop them some claims that they can use the Gordon Daniels, Sarah Blaylock, Amanda King, you know, all the top claims that we use, Debbie and Leonard McGlone, and there's a lot more as well. 
and then we get started. You know, we get started and we just show them a good old classic two out of three day. And this even breaks it down. You know, showing them how to use sales rabbit, very important, guys, in your very first day, because it is much easier to teach somebody sales rabbit the first day than it is the 30th day. That way they get the habit of using sales rabbit day one. And it's a very simple process and it keeps very good notes on all the businesses that you're walking walking into. It's a great pre-approach pad. It also gives you pre-approach. A lot of times it'll even give you the manager of the business that you're about to walk into. So it's kind of like a layup. You know, it makes it a lot easier to approach a business if you already know the name of the owner that, that runs that store, okay? And then it even tells you from nine to 12, making sure that they're doing the very first approach. So if you're in your, if you're in your very first day, you are actually going to be approaching the very first business, not your trainer. So the very first approach, you are actually going to be approaching it. We are going to throw you out there the very first approach, and then your leader will be taking over on the next few businesses after that. We'll be showing you how to take notes on each business, how to plug them into sales rabbit, how to have a slow approach, slow and low in assumptiveness, how to confidently ask for a place to sit down, how to break eye contact whenever you ask for a place to sit down, and then how to get pre-approach on the next business right next door to it and all the businesses in the area. Okay, and then at lunchtime, you'll be going over some notes from the day, you know, and usually our lunchtime, they're just eating a sandwich in the car. We're not going to go hang out at Chick-fil-A for the day or, or, or go eat out back steakhouse for a huge lunch. That's not what we do. We usually just eat a sandwich, an apple in the car, and go over and review the notes that we've had for the first half of the day. And some people will do a quick five-minute meditation. <laughs> I know I've done that several times where I'll uh, get on my Calm app and do a quick five-minute meditation and then go crash the second part of the day. Not everybody does that, but a lot of people do, and I promise you it helps. And then from one to three o'clock in the afternoon, you're getting right back at it, right? Showing them on how you build rapport effectively, asking all those questions. So how long have you worked here? What did you do before this? Are you originally from here? What high school did you go to? Making sure that you're a human being to the people so that way they trust you more. Okay, that's what you're focusing on uh, in the goal period, one to three o'clock. And then as you close the day, you're focusing even more on the indirect cost page, you know, asking those critical questions effectively. Okay, and then at the very end of the day, in the last goal period, you're focusing a lot on the buying atmosphere, making sure that you slow down. And you shut off the iPad when you get to the uh, to the buying atmosphere. That way, you're just looking at the customer face to face, and you're not moving on from the buying atmosphere until you get a firm yes or no on making a decision today. You don't go to the benefits part until you get a yes or no that they're going to be giving you a yes or no at the end. If they get it, great. If not, it's no big deal. But we do got to get a decision today. And then, if there is an objection at that point of the buying atmosphere, we're going to rebuttal it right then and there and not wait until the end of the presentation. Okay, so guys, this just literally gives you a very good breakdown. And there, it's got the first three days on here. I'm just gonna go through day one. Um, and then it even talks about the homework assignments uh, that you need to give them at the end of the day. So guys, that is number three, uh, to make sure you have a fast start is take your field training seriously, whether you're training the new agent or you are the one getting trained. Now let's go to the last thing we're gonna talk about. And this is fun. This is actually the homework assignments that you do after five o'clock. So we all talk about, you know, in order to be successful here, you gotta have high activity and skill development. So high activity is doing the two out of three day between eight to five. The skill development piece is what are you doing after hours? What are you doing before 8 a.m. to sharpen your skills? You know, I listened to the brand new elevators podcast by Dylan Buck this morning. You know, what are you doing at night to sharpen your skills? Are you listening to the audio? So I'm actually going to share with you the homework assignments. And if you're a new agent, you should have got an email. Uh, if you're in my agency from either me or Nicole Danwood on the, the first 30 day homework assignments. And I'm going to share with you guys what that looks like. And some of you guys are nodding your head right now because you've already done these. And, and some of you guys are thinking, hmm, I haven't done those, which is, not the end of the world. The good news is if you haven't done these, you can start doing these today because they will definitely help exploit your learning curve. So these are the homework assignments right here. This is them. Okay. So it's got every single day, your first 30 days. What are things that you can do when you get done after five o'clock? 
And if you don't have this, we can always email this right after the call. Not a big deal. Some of you guys may be thinking, oh, I may have gotten it, but I can't remember. I've gotten a lot of emails. Totally normal. Totally normal. I know we do send a lot of emails to you when you first get started here. So it may have got lost in the shuffle. Or maybe you got it. You just didn't really think it was important. So you don't, you don't open it up. No big deal. We can always send this right back to you. But this is the first 30 days homework assignments. And you can see um, right at the very beginning, it says while you're in sales school or before sales academy, listen to the very first episode of the Elevators podcast, which is called Proper Preparation. Proper Preparation is the very first episode. It talks about getting yourself prepared for sales school and how to take it and how to utilize those resources uh, the right way. And then your official first day, which is today, which would be a Thursday, uh, because that's your first day at a sales academy. You've got three assignments. It's study your sales talk for 30 minutes, approaches one and two. So uh, study your, your first page of your sales talk, which has got the first two approaches on there. Full memorization, word for word. And you do that tonight. And then you do one fit module after that. And then you listen to the next elevators podcast called first phase mentality. Okay. That's a great uh, one. You can listen to either late tonight or early tomorrow morning because those elevators podcasts always listen to them in the morning. Cause they get me super pumped up for the day. Okay. But the sales talk, you definitely want to study that at nighttime and do the fit module. That would be like a nighttime homework assignment and that podcast. And the audios, those are very good to listen to in the morning because they're very uplifting and very inspiring. And then day two, which would be Friday, which would be tomorrow, 30, study 30 minutes of your sales talk, your introduction, all the way from the start to the critical questions to word for word memorization. And then listen to the elevators podcast. Or, or sorry, do. Uh, do another fit module and then uh, listen to the elevators podcast that's called simple not easy okay that should be the third uh, audio on the elevators podcast and then it just keeps going down from there it's got day three day four day five uh, and as you guys can see each day has 30 minutes of sales talk that you're supposed to memorize and this is even important if you've already done all these homework assignments redo them because some people, if you had a great start and you kind of plateaued a little bit or you're in a slump, well, go back to the basics because that's all that matters. Go back to the basics. And if you've been here for three or four years, you're in a slump or you've been off schedule, boom, start this day one. I don't care if you've been here for five years or, or five days. Go back to these basics and this will give you a homework assignment that you can do after hours. And then what you can do is from eight to five the next day, implement what you learn on these audios, on these podcasts, and by studying your sales talk, just getting down to the ground level basics. So yeah, guys, those are the, those are the four things, what it takes uh, to be successful here. So, you know, number one is fully memorizing your sales talk, you know, memorization, internalizing, personalizing it over time. Number two is really dive into the elevators podcast because the content on there is absolute fire. Number three is take your field training very seriously, especially the very first two days, because this is the foundation for your entire career. And number four was do the homework assignments because those are very important to, there's a lot of, a lot of other things you can also do, but if you just do those basics, uh, you're, you're setting yourself up for a future that you're going to be very excited about. If you want to be a top producer, I think that we looked, I think we have 11 people. It was 10 or 11 people who are ranked in the top 140 so far. And that's awesome guys. We have a lot of agents in our uh, agents. I know Van's got a lot in his group too. And uh, we're going to have a lot of people in Puerto Rico this time next year. We're going to have hopefully more winners that's ever won the, the green jacket that we've ever won. Uh, more people in Dallas, hopefully between the two agencies, we can have about 30 to 40 people in Dallas, Texas for our mid-year meeting in July. Uh, but it starts today. So if you want to be at all these awesome trips, today matters. Uh, it's Thursday, Thursday. I'm going to open the field up. If you have any questions or comments, uh, I'm going to open up to the, uh, to the audience. <clears throat> Kyle, I've got a question for you. You seem like a pretty busy guy with your schedule and all that you got going on, yet you still find time to sharpen your own saw and listen to these, the elevator podcasts and the tools that are there. Can you kind of give us an insight on kind of how, like what's your, your top two or three times that you use? Because I'm guessing you probably multitask every now and then. Um, 
when, when do you find time to, to use these tools and listen to these podcasts? Great. Yeah. So I, I've gotten the habit of not really listening to music in my car um, until nighttime. So I listen to the podcast. It's about a 20 minute drive to go from my house to the office every morning. So I leave my house right about 7 a.m. every single day. And from about 7 to 7.20, I'm listening to an Elevators podcast. Okay. So that's literally my time that I listen to this podcast in my car. Or if I'm driving to the field, I'll listen to it and get driving to the field. You know, I've got about a 30 minute drive to my territory. I'll listen to the Elevators podcast in the morning. So that is exactly wherever I do it is driving to the territory or to the office is my time. So I don't listen to, you know, music until the end of the day till I'm driving back home. And I actually have a podcast going all day in my car. So whenever I get back in my car to go drive somewhere else, you know, I'll be listening to the second part of the episode or to the next episode or to a book, an audible book, you know, that I'm listening to at the current time. Right. So that's, that's whenever I do it. Um, and then, uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. And I don't listen to the episodes just once guys, I listen to them several times. So, uh, the, these episodes are so rich. It, it's hard to get everything just in like 30 minutes. So I would recommend listening to them several, several times. I know that the class, the setting up enrollments by Amberly Kessler, probably four or five times I'll listen to those, and they are absolute money. And those those episodes are also on the homework assignments as well. So, thank you for that. Super awesome. <laughs>